Mis disculpen las fachas. Empecemos. Is the COVID-19 pandemic actually over? ¿Se acabó realmente el COVID-19? President Joe Biden said in a 60 Minutes interview this weekend that it was, but it... El presidente John Biden en una entrevista de 60 minutos este fin de semana dijo que sí. Acknowledged the virus itself is still an issue. The... Pero reconoció que el virus sigue siendo un problema. The president's remarks were apparently off the cuff with two anonymous senior health leaders telling the Washington Post that the administration was surprised he el presidente tuvo comentarios improvisados. Dijo que el Washington Post, la administración, estaba sorprendida. Dijo que en Estados Unidos hay un promedio de 460 muertes por COVID-19 por día, según los datos de la New York Times. So what's going on? Is it over? Our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, joins us now to talk about that. Thanks for co coming in. Para hablar sobre eso está nuestra experta Coley. Thanks for coming in. Good morning, Gary. So the Gracias por venir y good morning, Carrie. El presidente dijo que no one is wearing masks y that's one reason we should consider it over. Is that, is that... El presidente dijo que como nadie usa mascarilla debemos darlo por terminado. Something that you consider. <laughs> es algo que usted considera. I think the president's logic here is completely reversed. It's sort of like saying, well, everyone is smoking, so it can't be bad for you. Or everybody's <laughs> overweight, so we don't have an obesity epidemic. And, and, you know, a plane full of Americans is still dying every single day. The behavior to not wear a mask was driven by personal preferences, by the CDC's guidance, partly because they wanted people to return back to their lives, help the economy to come back to normal. Right. But it was not necessarily driven by whether the pandemic is over or not. So es como decir que si una persona que fuma está bien o una persona que tiene sobrepeso está bien, un avión eh, lleno de personas sigue muriendo. ¿Cómo estamos con las infecciones de COVID-19 eh, hace un año? o dos años in a much better place so i want to be optimistic estamos en un lugar mucho mejor mystic because we are way better than we were in january of this year a couple of years ago you remember what our lives were like. quiero ser optimista estamos mejor que hace un año o dos años atrás like But despite having said that, we are still seeing infections go up, not down. So Japan, for example, in the last... Todavía seguimos viviendo infecciones. Por ejemplo, en, Jap en Japón no baja. ...month had a 29% increase. El último vez tuvo un 29% de contagios. ...in their infections. Uh, Taiwan and Hong Kong had a nearly 20% increase. And here... In Taiwán y Hong Kong tuvieron un aumento del 20%. The United States, we're recording a 3% increase, knowing that at this point most of us are testing at home and may not actually be reporting those positive infections to our local public health. Aquí en Estados Unidos está aumentando en un 3% a pesar que las personas se hacen pruebas en sus casas. Department. So the president also indicated that he believes, and, and some health experts have even said, that we're entering the endemic stage of this. Algunos expertos han dicho que estamos en una etapa endémica. Rather than the pandemic. I don't think people really know the difference between those two. Yeah. So. No creo que la gente tenga idea sobre esto. No 
those two. Yeah. So what's that all about? So two things no to think about. Um, how quickly is the disease spreading? About. So two things to think about. Um, how quickly is the disease spreading and how much of an area does it affect? So a pandemic means that it's spreading very quickly in a large geographical area. Endemic means that Pandemia significa que se está extendiendo en un área geográfica grande. The rate of spread is predictable in a smaller geographical area. Endémica significa que en un área geográfica en un área geográfica es más pequeño. So I think for the last few months we've sort of been flirting with the endemic piece of it because our infections have started to level off again with the caveats that we may be undercounting the cases. Um, but the estamos subestimando a la parte endémica. The fact that it's still growing worldwide, I think it makes the president's statement that the pandemic is over, which affects the entire world, a little bit premature and not really based in science. Can you go back? Esto está afectando a todo el mundo. Back and forth from an endemic to a pandemic, I mean, because this winter they're expecting more cases. Se puede venir de una parte endémica a una pandémica. To a pandemic, I mean, because this winter they're expecting more cases. You absolutely can, and that's the key of it too. You can't just say, "Oh, the pandemic is over, and now we're endemic," and and it's a one-way sort of thing. It's by direct. No puedes decir que la pandemia terminó en un solo sentido. So at any given day, we could be in more of an endemic phase, or we could be in more of a pandemic phase, and we as citizens. Entonces podríamos pasar de una fase pandémica a una endémica. Citizens and people have to really learn to be flexible with our behaviors as we go back and forth to really try to push it to stay in the endemic phase. And now the Nosotros como ciudadanos debemos ser más flexibles. The big deal of course is the new vaccine, the booster that that uh takes care of the supposedly Delta yeah. and the original. Ahora tenemos una vacuna que se encarga supuestamente de la Delta. Yeah. Uh, is that a game changer? Will that make the pandemic eventually go away? I, I hope so. I Eso hará que la pandemia desaparezca. eventually go away? I hope so. I really, really hope so because I'm very excited about the data. I've looked at both the longevity of the response as well as the, you know, the intensity of the antibodies that it makes. And I think if we really do a good job of getting our boosters, we are priming ourselves for this winter to start to shift to endemic and continue to enjoy the indoor activities and the things that we've been doing. Eso realmente espero. Espero que desaparezca. Very good. I got my appointment for this afternoon. Excellent. I was about to ask. Muy bien, tengo mi cita para esta tarde. Excelente. Excuse me. All right, thank you very much for coming in. Appreciate it. Ed. Estaba a punto de preguntarte, muchas gracias por venir.